What do you call someone who zips around town in a Ben C class and fearlessly spills all the beans? None other than the legend himself, Gareth Cliff. In all his years in the industry, Cliff built up a net worth somewhere between $1 million and $5 million. Not too shabby, right? With all these glittering coins in his vault, you might be wondering, how does Gareth let the good times roll? Well, Chomas, it's all about lavish rides and epic escapes. Rev up the engines and let's hop in the time machine. My first car was a City Golf. He got this car from his mom, but he had to pay her off for the ride. Nothing is Mahala, boss. Anyway, he remembered a life before all the fancy gizmos in our cars today. Gareth's vintage Golf didn't have air conditioning. Ah, yes. The days of manually rolling down your window and putting up those shiny dashboard protectors? What a time to be alive. He was probably around 18 years old this time. Then he became a radio DJ and got his upgrade. Flashback to the early 2000s, when Gareth was cruising Josie's streets in a sporty Audi TT. These roadsters are hella sporty and could reach 178 or 222 horsepower, depending on the make. Just a little bit of trivia for you. These roadsters were so wild, Audi had to slap on extra tech to keep them from flying off the road. Today, you could scoop up a secondhand Audi TT for anywhere between 60 grand and 150,000 rands. Adding another gem to his garage, enter the suave C-Class Benz. Gareth hails the 2021 model as the brainchild of fuel efficiency. With 122 horsepower purring under the hood, this Mercedes is a hybrid wonder. It runs on both fuel and electricity. The battery even juices up while you're cruising. Talk about a ride that's got your back and the planets too. We wonder how he moves when there's load shedding. I did Umlanga and back on one tank of diesel in September and a trip to Sabi Sands and back on a single tank in November too. I don't think I filled her up since December 1st. Cliff told his fans in his post, the C-Class comes with bragging rights and a price tag starting north of 900 grand or a mil if you're feeling fancy. Cliff also fancies himself the Range Rover Evoque. The older models have a turbocharged four-cylinder engine that produces 240 horsepower. You can snag a second-hand 2010 model for about 240 grand, while the fresher ones sport a price tag that makes you appreciate the value of good dough. Sadly, Gareth rode off this luxury SUV in an accident. His whole car was flipped on its side. Luckily, he made it out with one or two scratches. After the accident, he told his fans they shouldn't swerve for small animals unless they wanted to end up like him. Take a peek at his Insta, and it's clear Gareth is the VIP member of the C-Class fan club. We're assuming that he levels up to the latest C-Class whenever there's a new model available, and he always plugs DeVitt Motors, a local Benz dealership. Well, the car takes you from Gauteng to KZN and back on one tank of diesel. We get why he's such a fan, but wait, there's more. Cliff's got hard eyes for the Hyundai Palisade, too. This seven to eight seater extravaganza comes tricked out with swanky gizmos. It has an eight inch infotainment system with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, Bluetooth, and voice control. Gareth said the best feature is the seat cooler, which blows a cool air conditioned breeze through the little holes in the leather seats. Now that sounds lecker, the cost to roll like a VIP in this luxury SUV, nearly a million bucks, a price that puts other wallets on a diet. And after all the craziness of Gareth's day-to-day -day life, he likes to unwind by going on exotic vacations. As he once said, I want to live well while exercising my objectives in luxury and happiness, and with as many options as I can exploit at any given time. Cliff recently ticked Istanbul, Turkey off his list. You better whip out that calculator app. One week in the scenic destination could cost a single person around $1,200, and that's sticking to a tight budget. And don't think for a second Garrett's luxury escapades are all zen and chill. When he visited Victoria Falls, he went full throttle, zip lining over the roaring Zambezi River. For his luxurious habitat, Gareth stayed at the spectacular Wallow Lodge and Elephant Camp in Victoria Falls National Park. You could expect to pay $630 a night for a single room in this luxury safari accommodation, all meals and local drinks, plus airport transfers included. It takes a lot of energy to juggle controversies like Gareth Cliff. That's why he doesn't hold back on giving himself the finer things in life. Although at the end of the day, he does it all for the experiences, not the moolah. As he once said, Money is an estimation of value, not the end goal. That's it for this episode of The Lux Life. Join us again next time when we'll be looking at another who's who. Like and subscribe. See you.